It's time for the coin toss now, presented by Coke Zero. Real Coke taste, zero calories. Enjoy everything. Kent State lines up to kick this one off, and we're just about set to get underway. Bowers from the two. At the 30. Out of bounds at the 42. You gotta love opening the game with a solid kick return like this. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. He's at midfield. They'll bring him down at the 48. If you can consistently run effectively like this, it'll force the defense to pay more attention to the run. And that creates chances in the play-action passing game. Mike 28, Mike 28. First and 10. Red Ball on the 48. <laughs> Tackle made right around the 46-yard line. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. The ball pops free, and they fall on the loose ball. Close one there. Maybe the ball carrier will try a little harder to secure the ball next time. review this fumble and I've got to tell you I think he was down before the ball popped loose I don't know about this one Brad they called it a fumble on the field and they need indisputable video evidence to overturn this call well after seeing the replay it was apparent that his knee was down before he lost the ball yep those guys in the booth aren't perfect, but they got it right this time. Five wide. Looking for his man, incomplete. Montgomery was the intended receiver on that pass. And they're going to have to bring on the punt team. On third down, the defense was expecting the pass. And they defended the play very well in the second half. You're always looking for the home run return. The big highlight didn't happen there, but he still got him a couple of yards. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. Inside give. Room around the corner. And he's tackled after positive yardage. Tailback picked up seven on the draw. Second and three. Ball on the 31. They make the stop at about the 27 yard line. Man left, man left. Four down, four down. 24 is the mic. That pass play went for nearly enough to keep moving, but they're stopped just short. Boy, that's tough. That is always a tough pill to swallow. Having to leave the field, knowing how close you came to converting on third down. You got to get those. Smith awaits the snap. Still up right there. Not great, but not bad either. As long as your main priorities are not turning the ball over and establishing solid field position, then you're heading in the right direction. Every drive is important in a tie game. I look for both sides to come out with some urgency. Nice run, and he's brought down. They're about four yards away here on second down. He's got an opening. He's at the 40. To the 20. And he's taken down at the 10-yard line. Oh, that was one beauty of an option by that quarterback. No question. There was no hesitation whatsoever. Once he saw that hole, he turned it upfield and left everybody in the dust. We might see another run here as it's first and goal. around the eight-yard line. Oh, Mike 28. Mike 
Intercepted. Marshall could take the lead with this field goal. He gets it up and he's got it. And you got to think they're pretty happy with holding him to a field goal right there. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Gathered in at the six. He's tackled at the 31. And while they are behind, they know they can knock things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. Got it, but he's going to lose yards here. Second and 12 coming up here. Ball in the 29. Makes it to the 41. football that he shouldn't have made the throw and that's the thing when you're under that kind of pressure it takes away that one split second you need to scan the area so you know where it's a safe throw from their own 19 yard line first down Marshall is up a field goal and now he's got room to run and down he goes at about the 21 Push him out at the 41. Looking to capitalize on the big run. Now it's first and ten. He makes it out to maybe the 39-yard line. Kill, kill, kill! Black five, black five! 
Both offenses trying to find their rhythm in that first quarter. Low scoring and close right now. Marshall leads 3-0. Welcome back. Tight game here in the second quarter as we begin play. Three down, three down. Mike, 28. Mike, 22. Green, 15. Marshall, Marshall, I got one. Tackle around the 36 yard line. From the 36 yard line, third down. to throw outside. Marshall holds a field goal lead. On the ground, he won't get back to the line. So they turn it over on downs, and that's a big boost for this defense. In a close game like this one, it's big plays like this that can be the deciding factor. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. And he's hit before he can go anywhere. This guy has that innate ability to get just enough distance from a defender to make a completion possible. You don't see it from every receiver, but this guy's got it. They'll spread the field with five wide. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. He was never able to get ahead of steam on that carry. From their own 49-yard line, second down. Dog four, kill, kill, kill. Complete, he's got room. They'll bring him down at about the 45. In the shotgun and five wideouts. I love the toughness here by this quarterback of sitting in until the last second, trying to make a play downfield, only to have this defense get to him. He's got to do a better job maybe feeling things out a little bit, but at least he has the awareness and a toughness to sit in that pocket. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. Scrambling around. He's going to take off. He's to the 40. Tackle made at the 44-yard line. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 44. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Little screen pass. And the screen pass goes nowhere. would have liked to have prevented such a big game. But the important thing is that they held and brought up fourth down. In a perfect world, he knocks this kick down inside the 10. He makes it out to maybe 
the 23-yard line. Can this defense play any better? I mean, these guys have a great tradition. They live up to the billing today. Now we're starting to see whether or not this team can get it done. And if they are, then I think the defense should go down to the offensive side of the field, talk to their own offense, and try to get them fired up to go out there and get some more points on that. And he's level at the 34-yard line. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on their own 34. Gets to around the 42. They come out in a five-wide set. Off to the right, and he carries the ball for a nice game. First and ten, ball on their own 48. And he hits him hard, the 47 yard line. They come out on an empty backfield. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. Third down now, and they need to get it inside the 42. Find his receiver, and that's a first down. And he's taken down at the 29. the 29-yard line. It's first down. Goes incomplete intended for his wideouts. And this is the eighth play of the drive. and out right to the running back. And he tackles him hard at the 24. Cooper gains about five yards on the play. We're at play number nine of this current drive. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. Line. It's a smart job here by the coaches, making a play call here that really played to their offensive strengths. That's knowing your personnel. Defense has had two stops already down here. Fires quick out to the receiver, and he can't make the grab. Here's the 11th play of the drive. This receiver showed soft hands and hung on for the first down. And if I'm not mistaken, the defense sent their corner on a blitz. If he doesn't get to the quarterback, the numbers are in favor of the offense, just like we saw. Touchdown, Golden Flashes. Really good vision here by the quarterback and a good understanding of where he was on the field. He didn't need much, and he knew he could get it himself. the PAT. It was a 12-play, 77-yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. It's fielded at the two. Tackle made at the 24-yard line. A really defensive battle going on right now so far, Kirk. Well, the defenses are flying around the football doing a good job. I think both offenses are making it a little easier because of their style game plan. I think 
If I were the offensive coordinator, take a few chances. Be willing to open it up and try to give your quarterback a chance to make a play. He's scrambling. Quarterback's going to run it, and he's got room to work. That's a great tackle at the 31-yard line. Marshall's going to use their first time out of the half here. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Throws this one out to the right. It's caught first down, and he's out of bounds. Second time out of the half. First and ten. Ball on the 36-yard line. Quick release. Oh, had it knocked down. That's what the defensive back coach likes to see. His kids reacting when the ball is in the air and then making the play. About the 25 yard line. Kill, kill, kill. Yellow three. 99. 99. Yellow three. Black five. Black five. Go. He scrambled. Now he's going to run and watch out. Slides down. Kill, kill, kill. Yellow three. Here we go, here we go. He's going to try and scramble. A huge play, and now they're in a great position to score. some time and he's gonna run this one in touchdown so the kicker will line up here and try to give his team a three-point lead with this extra point and he converts the extra point the kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off He's to the 20. And he makes it out to about the 27-yard line. They punched it in for six on the last series. Can they do it again? You can bet this defense made some adjustments on the sideline, though. I don't know if they can stop the passing attack, but they need to at least be able to slow it down. Boy, you see how the defense just swarmed to the ball carrier? That was fantastic pursuit. from their own 24-yard line. It's second down. Defensive dominance through two quarters of play. We go to halftime, 10-7, Marshall. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. He's Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. We've been looking forward to this game all week, and it has lived up to billing. A close game. You feel like that it's going to be a great second half, and boy, we've got the perfect guys in the booth. What a reward today for Nestler and Herb Street to get this game. Well, you know, it's not a secret, Reese. They get the best game every week that we think's on the schedule, right? So they got this grave. It's great. It's close. It's going back and forth. I mean, what a treat to watch one of the best games of the year just unfolding in front of us, and more importantly, to hear the silky smooth sounds of Kirk Herbstreit and Brad Nessler. Does it get any better? Just about set to start the second half. What are you looking for? I'm looking to see which team has that decided schematical advantage. 
And if they can find it, they'll blow holes three or four axe handles wide. Brad and Kirk will be there to call the second half. All right, Reese and David, thanks, guys. Second half action just about ready to start here. He'll return it from the one. Brought down at the 31. Boy, this is a competitive game. It's fun to watch these two teams go back and forth. Just when you think one team has the edge, the other gets right back into it. This is exciting. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. Solid running right there. Getting past the defensive lineman and into the secondary before he could be stopped. It's first and ten. Ball on the 41. Nice run to the outside. Success. Any sort of completion can help boost an offense's confidence. It's third down, and this offense is about three feet away from that first down mark. Makes the grab and out of bounds. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. That's incomplete, trying to get it to his receiver. From the 43-yard line, it's second down. He's taken down around the 32-yard line. They're eating up a lot of field on this drive. I'm really impressed with their ball control. It's the ninth play of the drive. Here we go, here we go. 24 is the mic. And two. Go. And down he goes around the 16 yard line. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 16. Quick, he catches another. Brought down around the nine yard line. It's the 11th play of the drive. And the 16th coming. Check Mike. Check Mike. Red two. Three fifty. Oh, 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 oh. Here's an opening. Touchdown, Kent State. Boy, he looked determined running the football. Nobody was going to keep him out of the end zone. And he tacks on the extra point. So an 11 play, 70 yard drive. And they add seven points to the scoreboard. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well executed touchdown drive. The score now 14 10. And he just got drilled. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. Tackle at the 30. A 
gain of eight on the carry. So it's second down and about two yards to go. And he's hit before it can go anywhere. Nice play, baby. Nice play. Who that? Who that? Mike 28. Mike 28. And two. Hit. Quick pass intercepted. They'll bring him down around the 44 yard line. He telegraphed that throw. He eyed his receiver the whole way. That was an easy read by the defense. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 44. Kent State is up by four. Tackle made at the 32-yard line. Makes his way to about the 22. This guy just made those 10 yards look easy. Short yardage situation here. Second down and one. And a quick throw. And they make the stop at the 17-yard line. to about the 14-yard line. From the 14-yard line, second down. They go to the run, and he's tackled in the backfield for a loss. Fourth down. This isn't much more than an extra point. He gets it up and it splits the uprights. The Golden Flash wide receiver out with a parent injury, although he might make a comeback later in this game. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Murray from the five gets to about the 27-yard line. We'll have to see now how the offense responds this time after throwing a pick on their last drive. So much in football is about how you respond to adversity. Moving forward after a turnover is a perfect example of that. Gets out to around the 38. from their own 38-yard line. First down. Fires that quickly incomplete. Six yards on the play. Woo! So it's third down now, and they're going to need about four. Three down, three down. Mike 28. Mike 28. Black five. Get it. Quick pass, and he's right there to knock it away. Anytime you can prevent a third down conversion, you're doing something right. Solid cover. He's out to the 30. He makes it out to maybe the 33-yard line. 
So they're just about set to get the game going again. Kent State is up a score. Gains his way to the 46-yard line. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on their own 46. That's three down and one to go. Kent State's lead is a touchdown. We're just about set to start action here again in the fourth quarter. Hey, check back 16. Check back 16. You got to get the ball. Can you get the ball right here? Go. 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 Now he pitches it, and he's tackled at the 47. From their own 47-yard line. Second down. Halfback's got it on the quick throw. And he's taken down around the 47-yard line. Third down, and they need to get it inside the 44. He's under pressure. He throws. And he tackles him hard at the 34. This passing game can be very effective if you don't get enough pressure on the quarterback. They use their personnel well and can be very tough to defend. Here we go, here we go. Throws out and through his hands. It's second and ten. Ball on the 34-yard line. Kent State up seven points. Throwing left. Incomplete. And that wasn't the greatest pass in the world. Well, I don't know how anybody can throw a great pass while getting drilled like that. And it's the offense that takes the field on fourth down. Green nine, green Dumps it complete to the halfback over the middle. He's tackled at about the 33-yard line. Defense stiffens on fourth down, and the ball will change hands. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one down, play, play away from a very different ball game. Nice run up the middle. Ali gets six yards on the carry. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. They'll line up with five wide receivers. He's scrambling. He'll take it himself. That's a great tackle at the 49-yard line. And he is drilled at the 48-yard line. Second down. down, down. And he's tackled Ooh. after positive yardage. Let's go, D, let's go, D. Roger, Roger. He throws right. The defensive coordinator did a great job with the play call there. 
put his defense and alignment in a position to be able to make a play on the football. Everything worked perfectly. They just dropped the football. Boy, the offense caught a break there. He doesn't want a touchback here. He wants to knock this ball inside the 10. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. Kent State is up seven. And he carries the ball for a nice game. Cooper gains about four yards on the play. From their own 31-yard line, it's second down. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 37. Takes the ball away. And they got him for a loss. One yard loss for the halfback. Marshall's going to use their first time out of the half here. Quick pass. He's taken down around the 45-yard line. When you can move the ball downfield in big chunks like that, you've got the defense right where you want it. A little more than two minutes to go in the fourth quarter. Gets to about the 44-yard line. The halfback picks up a yard. The safety came up from the secondary and made a nice, solid tackle. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 44-yard line. He's at the 30. He gets to about the 24-yard line. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Makes it out to maybe the 23 yard line. From the 23 yard line, it's second down. Gets out to around the 15. That's how we do, D. That's how we do. They don't want none. They don't want none of this. Tenth play of the drive. all but wrapped up. Golden flashes come out on top. 17-10. So that wraps things up for us. For EA Sports and Kirk Herbstreit. I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks and we'll see you next time.